Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie and I'm your host here at Yesterday's Tomorrow. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to balance your gimbal. And for this video, I will be using the DJI RS3. So if that sounds like the type of content you were searching for, we're gonna get into that. This stuff, it may seem tricky the first few times that you do it, but after that, it will save you countless headaches to go ahead and get in the practice of doing this so that when you get on location with a client, you're not fumbling around trying to figure out how to get this done. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into the tutorial. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the grip and we're gonna attach that to the gimbal itself. As you slide it into the gimbal, make sure that it clicks and locks into place. Next, we're gonna take the tripod base and we're gonna attach it to the bottom of the grip for the gimbal. You just need to screw it onto the base. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and open up the tripod itself and set it on a flat surface. Next, we're going to take the Arca Swiss plate adapter provided and we're going to attach it to the bottom of the camera with the little thumb screw. You don't have to over tighten this thing. You just want to make sure that it's good and snug so your camera is not moving around when you attach this. Two things to mention here is make sure you situate it so you can open your battery door and get to your battery while also making sure that the base is straight. Now we're ready to get started. First, you're gonna wanna take and lock the roll axis so that when we get ready to start doing the tilt axis to level it out, it's not moving on us. Next, we wanna take the lower receiver that the Arca Swiss actually mounts to and go ahead and attach that to the tilt arm on the gimbal itself. You just want to go ahead and slide it back to the back and go ahead and lock it in place. This isn't a big deal at the moment. We'll do finer adjustments once we get the camera on here. Now you want to take and connect the camera to the lower receiver we just connected to the gimbal and then you want to go ahead and lock it down in place once you center it. Now that the camera's on here, we need to go ahead and make our finer adjustments. So you're gonna wanna unlock the lower receiver plate and use the dial to go forwards or backwards on the depth in order to balance the camera. Once you get it to a spot that feels pretty good, you're gonna wanna go ahead and lock it into place. For the final tilt adjustments, we are going to be working with the tilt axis arm and you're going to want to release it and when you move it up or down, it will change the center of gravity. Also note, you want to kind of hold the weight of the camera so that you're not pressing on the gimbal super hard. And again, final balance is going to be whenever you can point the camera up or down and it be completely still without rolling and then you want to lock the arm back in place. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and unlock the roll axis. Next you want to take and unlock the roll axis arm itself and you're going to slide this left or right to adjust the center of gravity. Once you like how it feels you're going to want to lock it in place and then check to see if it is balanced. The roll axis will be balanced when you can take and roll the arm about 45 degrees in either direction and it stays in place. Next we're going to go ahead and unlock the pan axis. 
while holding the gimbal in place we're gonna take and spin it to the front side like if you were holding it to check balance you're gonna take while it's turned forward and tilt the whole gimbal and it should be able to balance by rolling it about 45 degrees in either direction and it should be able to stay in place. To adjust the pan axis, you need to unlock the pan axis arm and you're gonna slide it in or out depending on which way you need it to go. Once you have it in a place that feels pretty well balanced, you wanna take and lock the arm back. To balance the gimbal, you wanna take and tilt the gimbal parallel to you. It should be balanced when you can rotate it about 45 degrees in either direction and it stays in place. Now you wanna take and turn Turn the gimbal on by pressing the power button on the side and holding it for about one second. Now in order to calibrate the gimbal you're going to want to take and hold the M button with the front trigger simultaneously and hold it for about three seconds. Don't be alarmed if your gimbal starts shaking and moving. That's just part of the process of it calibrating. That's it. Your gimbal is now balanced. Hit the power and it will automatically close. For those of you that are new, you know, this can be a little bit tricky at first, like I said, but through a little bit of practice at home, you will definitely get the hang of this and it will become second nature. Also too, when you're at a location with a client, you know, you don't want to be fumbling around trying to, to get your gimbal lined out and through looking more professional in front of your client, we hope to drive repeat business. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button. This helps us with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions on how we can make this video better or videos in the future, or just video ideas that you might wanna see, make sure to drop them in the comments below. And lastly, if you wanna see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing here at the channel. We would love to have you here as a member of the community. With that being said, I will catch you on the next video.